Hey, what's up everyone? John here from testpreppinsight.com, and today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Kaplan MCAT prep course. So over the last year, Kaplan has made some massive changes to their program and added new features, which have completely outdated our old review. So I felt like we needed an update and that's what we're gonna to do today. I'm gonna to tell you how the new and improved Kaplan MCAT course works, what you get, talk about price compared to other programs, and of course, what we like and don't like about Kaplan MCAT after these updates. And by the way, I should just mention up right here that since I'll just be focusing on higher level points in this video, if you find you need more detail at any point, you can always check out our full detailed written review of this over on our website. An easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight Kaplan MCAT Review. That's a quick way to find it. All right, so I wanna start with how the Kaplan MCAT program works and what life looks like inside the program day to day. So no matter whether you're talking about the self-paced on-demand course or the live online course, everything with Kaplan MCAT revolves around your schedule. The entire program is driven by a study schedule in calendar form that for the most part tells you exactly what to do every day. Honestly, it's kind of the baseline of the course. Almost everything is on your schedule. Learning modules, AAMC practice sessions, live classes, if you're doing the live online version, full-length practice exams, practice test review sessions, optional workshops, just everything. So that'll be your sort of guiding light. And as for the meat of what's in the schedule, most days will be about learning modules. And there's two different types of those. There's content refresher modules. These are all about reviewing and refreshing hard science tested on the MCAT. And the other type is called application modules. These are all about putting that hard science into practice. In other words, how it's applied and tested on the MCAT. But generally speaking, structurally, the two module types look more or less the same. You start with a brief placement quiz, usually about 15 to 20 questions, and that sets your baseline for the module. In fact, if you score high enough on the placement quiz, generally 70 to 80%, you can actually test out of the module and move right on to the next assignment. But assuming you don't hit that high threshold, you then watch a number of video lessons, usually two to three on average, I would say. These videos are generally on the shorter side. Most are in the 10 to 15 minute range, though some are as short as five minutes and some, especially in the application modules, can get really long. But because these videos are generally shorter, if you feel like you need a deeper dive, Kaplan gives you the chapter of the prep book that aligns with that video lesson so you can jump over and get some detailed notes. Then after you're done with the video lessons in your module, you finish with the review quiz. These are similar in length to the placement quizzes at the front end of the module, about 15 to 20 questions. And that's it for the modules. Again, it goes placement quiz, video lessons, review quiz. But anyway, outside of the modules, like I already mentioned, you also get sequenced mock exams, AAMC and CARS practice assignments, and practice test review sessions on your calendar. Now, besides the placement and review quizzes in the modules and the full length tests, a lot of the practice work is housed in the QBank, which isn't directly assigned in your schedule. For this practice work, it's more so on you to jump into the QBank between modules and work practice problems that align with what you've learned or where you need work. And it's similar with Kaplan's books. The readings aren't directly assigned in your schedule. It's more so on you to supplement the video lessons with the prep books where needed. And that brings me to the final element of the course the live classes. So if you take the live online course, you get a series of live classes, which you'll see on your study schedule. These classes are three hours long each and generally cover test taking strategy. Kaplan generally lets the learning modules teach the hard content and reserves the live classes for strategy elements. And the cool thing about the live classes is that you don't have fixed days and times. It used to be that way with Kaplan, but they've switched that up and now have flex classes, where the class sessions are offered multiple times throughout the week and you just have to attend one of the sessions where it fits your schedule. That's been a really nice improvement. And just as a heads up, if you're an on-demand student and don't get the live classes, you'll have strategy-based modules added to your study calendar to account for this so you don't miss out. Then lastly, there's the live workshops. These are open to both the live online and self-paced students. Every day, Kaplan has at least a few live online workshops or office hour sessions where you get a very deep dive into one particular topic and can ask questions. For on-demand students, these workshops are super valuable as they're almost a pseudo class replacement. Though again, they're all totally optional. And that's really the Kaplan course in a nutshell. I know that sounds very high level and it is. If I wanted to get into the weeds and break down every element of this course in detail, it would be a 30 minute YouTube video and nobody wants that. But if you do want some more detail, you can always check out that full detail written review that I mentioned earlier in this video. I'll have it linked down below for you in the description. There's way more information over there if you wanna check that out. 
Okay, so before moving straight into talking about the pros and cons, let's quickly touch on cost and how Kaplan compares to other MCAT prep companies in terms of price. So Kaplan technically has four packages to choose from. An on-demand course, live online, in-person, and live plus tutoring course. But there's just two that I want to really look at since this is probably where 80 or 90% of students will fall. And that's the on-demand course and the live online. The on-demand course costs around $2,100 and the live online course costs around $2,700. Now, when you first hear those numbers, they sound high, but honestly, they're right in line with all of the mega MCAT prep providers. For live courses, Princeton Review charges $2,800, Blueprint charges $2,500, and the comparable Altius course is also $2,500. They're all basically within a couple hundred dollars of each other, which isn't shocking given the fierce competition. But one thing I'll say here is that because of that fierce competition, Kaplan is pretty aggressive with their deals and special promos, and you can almost always find a discount on their course, so make sure to check for codes. In fact, I'll actually do my best to keep the description below updated with the most current coupon codes that I can find floating around out there, so make sure to check out that text below the video screen before buying. Generally, with Kaplan, you can usually expect to save at least 10%, if not more, so make sure to check that out. All right, so it's time for the good stuff. Let's jump into my pros and cons. And let's start with the pros. The first highlight of the Kaplan course is their revamped video lessons. These new video lessons are simply awesome and bring them in line with Blueprint for some of the best in the space. They're engaging and have all of the key elements we look for. On-screen instructors, helpful visuals and graphics, short length, high yield content, they've got it all. And these new video lessons are literally a 180 from Kaplan's old videos from a couple years ago. I'll show some footage of what these video lessons were like in 2020 when we took and reviewed this course for the first time versus what they look like today. Just night and day difference and they are very good now. Some of the best in the space. Then the second element we really like is how Kaplan has integrated all of their materials. The video lessons, prep book, and QBank all tie into one another. For example, if you're watching a video lesson on isomers but feel like you need more detail, they'll direct you over to chapter two of the Organic Chemistry Review Book for some more in-depth notes. And if post-video lesson you want to work practice problems that target what you just learned about isomers, you can create a custom quiz in the QBank that only has isomer problems. Essentially, all of the material is grouped in order by topic and all ties in with itself, which is an awesome organizational system that really helps. Then third is Kaplan's new module structure. We really like how Kaplan has designed their modules with this placement quiz, video lesson, review quiz approach. For one, it makes sense that if you already have a firm grasp of the material, you can just test out. But more importantly, assuming you work the module, it's just a very natural flow. You warm up and set your baseline with the placement. Then you learn with the video lessons and supplemental reading. Then you review and drive home what you just learned with the review quiz. We just really like this bite-sized modular approach, and when you do the one-two punch of content refresher and then application module, it's really powerful. Okay, so fourth highlight here is the workshops. As I already mentioned, no matter what package you go with, you get unlimited live online workshops and office hours. There seems to be about three or four sessions per day, and they are very useful. You won't, or at least shouldn't attend every session since they take such a deep dive into the nitty gritty detail of a subject, but if you need extra emphasis in certain areas, they are fantastic. And the live office hours are especially helpful for self-paced students if you have lingering questions or hangups. There's always a second instructor working the chat function and you can ping them with questions. Basically, these workshops are just a really nice bonus feature which you don't get with other MCAT courses. And lastly, the books. This is kind of a love-hate thing. Kaplan's books are awesome. They're insanely detailed, have great visuals, and literally give you everything you would need to prep for the exam, if you know how to use them. If you rely on them too heavily, it's just gonna bog you down because there's simply too much detail in them. But if you can find a groove for leveraging the books where needed around video lessons, then they're a fantastic resource. They are definitely the most in-depth prep books in the space. And the Quick Sheets book that they give you is a really nice cherry on top. That's a great cheat sheet for reviewing in the last few days. All right, so now let's talk about the negatives with the Kaplan MCAT program. But before I get to that, I do just wanna mention, since you're studying for the MCAT, every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we actually give away a free prep course to one lucky person. Super simple dinner, everyone out there is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description on how to get entered, but just know it takes like 10 seconds and hey, you never know, you could win a totally free Kaplan MCAT course. Okay, so the negatives. And the first drawback we see with Kaplan is that the program is almost a little too flexible. Let me explain that. There are just a lot of elements of this course that are optional. 
optional reading with each video lesson, optional practice prompts in the QBank, optional workshops each night, optional flashcards. It's just a long list. And the problem with this is that while the flexibility is good because it accommodates so many different learner types and personal strengths and weaknesses, it can also be a little overwhelming. It just becomes a little hard to figure out exactly what to study each day. Should you do that supplemental chapter from the book? Then how many practice questions should you do in the QBank? How many flashcards should you draw? When given too many options, it just makes things feel a little disorienting. And I think one area where Kaplan could improve is sort of firming up assignments in terms of these optional materials and more precisely telling people what to do. And that sort of leads me into my second downside, the course load. The Kaplan course can feel a little heavy handed. In total, they say there's over 500 hours worth of study material, and that doesn't even count the live classes or unlimited workshops, so it could be hundreds more than that. And given you're really only likely to spend a couple hundred hours studying, it's just a little overkill on the material. This ties back into my first con about trying to figure out exactly what to study and when. Kaplan generally does a good job of guiding you through the material, but I think thinning the course down a little, streamlining the material, and giving firmer assignments would be a nice improvement. To be fair, as you get closer to test day, if you have unfinished assignments on your schedule, Kaplan will start to drop off the lowest yield stuff, which is nice, but you get where I'm coming from on this point. And lastly, I'll keep this quick, but I think the flashcards are just okay. Kaplan has clearly designed them to be like Anki decks, but I just don't see them being as good. They're a decent mock-up and will do the job, but they're just not the best we've seen. For what it's worth, if you're gonna integrate flashcards into your study schedule, I'd probably just use the actual Anki decks. But anyway, that about does it for this review. So let's get to my final thoughts. Is Kaplan MCAT prep worth it? Honestly, I really like the improvements that Kaplan has made. The new video lessons are awesome. The integrated study material and modular structure are very smartly designed. The practice tests are much more realistic than they used to be, and the workshops add a ton of value. Now, it's not a perfect program. The Kaplan course is still a little heavy handed in terms of total study material, and I think they could trim down some of the optionality in the study schedule. But by and large, all of the updates that Kaplan has made have been for the best, and this is a really strong MCAT course that I don't think people should hesitate to use. But anyway, that's all I've got for you. I hope this video has been helpful and you learned a little something about Kaplan's MCAT course. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and drop me a quick comment below. That would be really appreciated. And again, if you want to see that full detailed written review of this course that I mentioned earlier in this video, just hop on over to our website, testprepinsight.com, or check out the other videos we have about Kaplan on our channel. There's a lot of great content out there. But as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll catch you in the next one.